leads to uh, having the ability to win. So a lot to stay, a lot, a lot in stake, and I think that we're going to see the performance of their lives uh, uh, this evening and, and, and tomorrow evening as well. Hopefully, it's going to be a very important game for both teams. They know that since Iber Power and Cloud9 is not in this tournament, is their big chance. So the terrorists might be going towards the A site. Nice and slow, taking it easy, not giving away any information. But there is a four-man stack here by the CTs. They've read it well, SKDC. So the denial are going to be in for a surprise. Nice shot there by ELS uh, to start off this round. The frag of this side. Yeah, they're just creating control of the board. CTs is going to have the big favor of this one. And he's going to get another kill. And they actually have a bait setup here on the side. And what a nice bait setup here. Basically, I'm kind of adopting the way that the terrorists executed this round because they decided to go before they even initiated with their grenades. You saw a late smoke towards short area and flashbangs, but they had simply already gave, g given the CTs free kills at this moment. Yep. So they go away with this pistol round without even getting a bump plan. That's kind of a disaster for doing a five-man push strategy. But it's a good start for SKDC. That's what they needed. They needed that pistol round. And especially on the CT side, the stronger side of cash. Now, it seems like the terrorists uh, will be going towards the B site this time. Uh, shaking it up a bit and... Uh, I don't think for any buys. Uh, actually, they've gone for a full buy this round. Whoa. They haven't got the bomb plan and they've got two entry frags. Fugly and Daps taking down two of the uh, CTs. Uh, the bomb planted on towards the B site and said, we take it. It's a five on three situation here. Wabbit has to perform from the vents, but they do see him flash him out. He has to be forced back. Nitro's going to be ready for him. Shazam in a nasty position as well. Easy kill here as they've picked up two weapons from the CT side. Disastrous second round here by SKDC. Yeah, and you're gonna ask me any second what went wrong in this round, but it could actually still be a turnaround for the CTs. Automatic with two. Ooh. Slumpy taking down Shazam, going for the defuse. He does have a kit. Oh, no, he has he to gets hold it. Oh no, he gets the kill. He will be able to get the double nitro rising up to the occasion there and Stealing that round from SKDC with the force by getting the bomb plant as well and the bomb exploding. So they do have a lot of money to play with an SKDC. Their economy is in complete tatters. Yeah, and I was just going to say, you're going to ask me what went wrong for yes. the CT side in this situation. And what we saw was the first guy of the CTs dying to an amazing shot by the terrorist side. And sometimes you're just going to lean back and say nothing to do about that. But as soon as that first guy dies without getting anyone in the grave with him, the other guy is going to be alone on the side, having to take down five opponents, and that's a pretty much impossible task. But let's see if they're going to go into the stack on this A bump side. We have four SKDC members well, hiding around here. I've read it pretty well this time around. I've read the fact that they've gone to the A side so far. They've gone A, B, A. That fly shooting behind uh, the double there with the Galil. And uh, on this anti seems like it's easy business for Denial as they get the bomb plant. And there's only one remaining CT left on the SKDC side. And uh, he's up against pretty, pretty tough odds. And it seems like Shazam might finish him off yeah. as Denial uh, get themselves into the second round. Not bad by Wabbit. Takes down Shazam. Can cheekily steal that AK-47 and run away. Oh, he lands another headshot as well over on the terrorists. But I think Nitro, with that flank, should be able to take him down just before the uh, timer ends. Yeah, he should. Kind of overextending round by Shazam. I mean, they know that he's only having a pistol, but is he going to clear out this corner, Nitro? This could be a truly disaster. Oh, mm. no. He's, not he's on the other side. Oh, wall bang. Well, for me, it seemed that he was on the other side of the wall. I don't know. Yeah, uh, that's X-ray. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's an illusion. It's, 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 it's magic. cheating me. But anyways, Shazam overextending slightly there because they knew that the CT only had a pistol, so mm. there were no real reason to hunt yep. since they had the AKs, yep. and the CTs can't really use that P250 that much in the next round anyways. So kind of small overextending, but anyways, it's pretty large now by the uh, denial side here. Well, the ELS uh, dishing out quite a bit of damage with that 5-7, actually getting a kill on Fugly, but Daps will return the favor by taking down uh, Slumpy. ELS now on the side, we'll get a second. No, gets shot down there by Shazam's Galil. Relative eases. Denial do have control of the B site. There are two CTs remaining. They've only gotten one frag the CTs this round. Wambit still has the AK-47 that they were able to save the round before. Can he do any damage? Unluckily not. Nitro, who's been uh, playing well so far, was able to take him down and uh, take away that little advantage that SKDC had coming into that round. But 3-1 on yeah. this uh, relatively CT sided map. Now the CTs are able to go for a full buy, and uh, now we can see them in full strength. Yeah, and what should have been a 3-0 lead for SKDC it's now them being behind 3 to 1, so kind of sad story for them. It looks like Shazam is going to sm Shazam is going to smoke off the connector. 
and they're gonna do a double boost up to the middle here. So they're gonna try to go for the mid control, and the CTs for the third round in the row, I think, having yeah. pistols. They've got pistols, they've got armor on ELS and weapon. They're not doing bad here, as ELS will get a double kill, both on Shazam and Fugly, with the help of uh, Automatic. This is not a bad uh, start to their uh, eco round. The lucky thing for the terrorists is that the weapons is towards the boost area, so the CTs is actually going to be unable to pick these weapons up. Mm. But Nitro is in a very cheeky position. He could get timed any second. Ocean actually did a great job just moving right in front of his... Uh, I think he had a feeling that there was somebody there and uh, moved off to the right and was able to... Uh, but he's wrapping around the T-spawn now, I think, or what? Yeah, he can definitely get Nitro back, uh, in the back. I don't think Nitro will expect the CT to be in that kind of position there. And so the terrorists have to be really careful right now. They've got three men. They've got a FAMAS on NAF flight, NAF flight and uh, a bit of low health on DAPS. And right behind them is Ocean with the yeah. CZ. And mm -hmm. he will be able to take down the bomb if he runs and pick up the AK-47. This could be disastrous here for Denial as DAPS will push through. Great positioning here by Ocean. He will get the kill, drop the bomb, pick up the AK-47. And now the CTs are going to be repositioning themselves. It's four on two here as uh, Denial are throwing away this round to a very, very nicely done uh, fight. But Nitro will take down Ocean, who's looking at the wrong direction at the wrong time. Wabbit comes in to support. Nafly will take him down. There's 15 seconds left on the clock. They have to play it nice and quick here, Denial. As they push into the B site, there is a CT right behind him. He won't be able to get him, and the bomb is going to go right through. Nitro take, get, get, gets the kill, but six seconds left on the clock. I don't think he'll be able to plant the bomb unless Slempy will not actually go for the uh, peak. But regardless, he will get the kill, and uh, he will get the defuse. But the bomb plant for Denial, bit of money. Yeah. Um, but uh, round they shouldn't have lost. They shouldn't have lost it, but then again, SKDC made it closer than it should have been in the end. I think that uh, Nitro, uh, no, it was Nitro, the guy outside B-Halls should maybe have waited a bit with shooting the bump, giving more time for his teammates to rotate towards that B-Bump side so they would have better positions afterwards. Nevertheless, they actually ended out by winning this round, so a pretty good investment by the CTs to get those 5.7s. Yeah, the 5.7 armor on uh, ELS was uh, an excellent investment. Got himself uh, three francs in a round before and uh, put the economy in good straight. And he's actually picked up an auto sniper at ELS, and we'll see what if he'll be able to do anything with that. Wabbit with an AWP, doesn't need the, the head armor against the AK-47s. Shazam now picking up the AWP. Yeah, there is an AWP for denial. Oh, this uh, flashbang by automatic is going to do wonders on Shazam. They have a guy hiding at the sandbags, and the timing is going to be very crucial. Don't call this flashbang too early, let's see. Yeah, Shazam threw down the flashbang. He does feel like there is somebody behind the sandbags. Yeah. It seems like a read. They're not surprised that this guy is hiding here. They see this oh, Nitro yeah. flops his spray on, but he will get the kill regardless. The CT unaware where he was shooting from. And I think it was due to that flash coming in from uh, Shazam as well to support. Nitro will get yet another frag. ELS coming in to support here with his auto sniper, but he'll get shot down by Nitro, who's been on fire with his rifle so far in this game. Uh, should be an easy kill on Wabbit, who doesn't have a lot of HP. Sprayed through. 4K here for Nitro. Can make it an ace if he's able to get the final kill on Ocean. As uh, we've seen quite an excellent round from this uh, denial play. Yeah. And he was, if I'm not mistaken, the guy who was swapped in, right? Yes. So doing a pretty good job here in the early stages of the game with this 4K and a very important weapon round. If we take a look at the CT's economy, you can see that they are fairly under big pressure. Slimpy has a lot of money. He's probably going to grab some pistols, but I don't think they're going to be able to go for a full buy in the next round. That's interesting to see. Ilyas is on eight kills, but the rest of the team have uh, not been performing too well. On the other hand, so you can really say that the two rounds were contributing to ELS's performance. But is that really going to work out? Well, actually, I'm just to save the apple. A little bit of a few shots just in case somebody yeah. crawls the corner in the last moment, but he does save the M4. So Slumpy, in this, uh, uh, in this kind of uh, situation, they could have perhaps bought two weapons. But yeah. I think it's... Better that Ocean just gets the armor and uh, you know tries to get a few frags and, and perhaps they, they, they should just echo this round and uh, play with full force the next. Both uh, true and wrong in the same way because we all know how effective a uh, double or actually they already saved the weapon. So if you drop two two rifles, they would have a triple rifle buy in this round with two C sets and that's not impossible to win this game. No, we've seen a lot of those rounds where the team with three, four CZs in armor, are yeah. able to uh, beat the uh, full by team, and uh, exactly. you are the victim of such rounds, yeah. I believe. Fnatic too strong with the CZs. <laughs> JW too strong with the CZs. Yeah.
It he would be funny to watch a game with uh, JW and not having the CZ. I think it would change his uh, playstyle quite a lot. But, but you know what, what, what JW is? He's the main CZ player for Fnatic, and he has the AWP as a second-hand weapon. You know, just in case he's in a tough position where he can't get any frags with the CZ, he pops out the AWP yeah. and gets a frag with that. When Entry the, frag. The annoying thing by watching him play is that he gets one kill with the AWP, and he's never searching for the second kill. He's always going to pull out the CZ and just go for the spray, and it works. That's... Uh, Yep, his spray always lands. Yeah. But on this eco round, they've gone two frags. Lempy picks up the M4 and his uh, teammate had earlier on the round, in the round, sorry. And he's going to try and save it, I guess. He's not going to be able to save it this time. He, he doesn't have a Kevlar. He picked it up from Ocean, who died early on yep. in the round, and he's in a terrible position. And here comes Fuckley with the last kill of the round, and it's going to be 5-2 to two for Denial. Already having five rounds on the ball this early on the stage on a T half and catch. Yeah. They are very satisfied already. And the problem with the CTs now, losing that many rounds, the economy, it's, it gets tough. It gets tough. They're unable to get the, the bomb plant kind of extra money that you get on the T side. With, with, even if you lose a round and you get a bomb plant, it's quite a bit of money to, to play with. And so it helps out a bit. The CTs have to be really, really, really fair. Here they've got a FAMAS. They've got an AWP on Wabbit. Who, uh, Played one of the rounds with an AWP, but, but uh, didn't do really much with it. Again, Shazam boosted up here on towards mid, gets flashed in, and he's trying to see if he gets the pick. Misses the no scope. In fact, automatic still holding that position. Has support from the to get away. Base, but will be finished off with that nade. I mean, it's a tough corner to be in. It is, but it's kind of slow thinking. As soon as he was spotted and the smoke was still available for, available for the warehouse, he should just run for his life. But then again, it's a tough situation to be in, and he could uh, as well just be wall banged or anything like it. So they've got a man deficit already. Denial. Yeah. And they don't have a lot of uh, grenades left either. And also Slimpy with only a Famas. This is looking very good for Denial. Double smoke down so they can clear off them from the run. But they are going to go towards the A site regardless. And they've got another flag on ELS as well. Yeah, and it's going to be the A push here. Slimpy closing down the middle area. And they're going to get another kill on the A, a, a bump side. The all hiding inside oh, and this smoke. Oh, not bad here by Bang, Slimpy. Yeah. Two frags for him and a beautiful wall bang actually by Wabbit as he makes it three kills for Wabbit and gets the run for SKDC. Not bad at all by the SKDC players uh, rising up to the occasion in that round and uh, actually taking pretty much salvaging uh, uh, yeah. an almost unsalvageable round after losing two players exactly. early on. What was a five on three really escalated to a three on zero in that situation. Really nice play by the CTs. Slimping, Slimpy closing down the middle push and getting up with the fast rotation towards the A side, getting a kill through the smoke. Very good play by him. Looks like there might be things better here coming in from denial. As Shazam, once more, goes for that mid control by uh, getting boosted up. I don't, I don't, we don't see a lot of T's actually boosting up their upper and trying to go for mid control with the upper on the boost. It's a bit of a dangerous move, isn't it? Because you're out yeah. on the open. Right now they're just trying to get Shazam to get a free peek. But the CTs is actually playing it quite clever by not uh, not really going for these uh, standard positions. So Shazam is looking, but he can keep looking. He's not going to find anyone. Yeah, they've uh, played nice and passive. They're kind of, they know that he's holding that position. He's been holding it quite a lot in the rounds, and they've seen him. He's actually down. That flash gave away his position to Wabbit, so that was an easy kill for him. And now Denial have uh, two men down. 50 seconds left on the clock. They're actually going to make a fast push into the B site. Quick rotation coming in from Wamet. He's smoked up, but does catch. Oh my lord, he landed that shot. That was incredible, but Fugly will get an entry frag on ELS. Kill for Ocean. Wabbit gets another, and he's actually playing very, very well with the op. 4k for him this round, and he's on 10k all of a sudden. He was on two kills two rounds ago. Yeah. Or three rounds ago, perhaps. <laughs> Maybe. Anyways, great op play, and we talked about it a lot in the pregame how effective this AWP can be, and he's just showing exactly why it's so strong on this map, because he's rotating it for perfection. Yep. Going for the easy kill in mid, rotating fast to be going for another peak, you know, he's just very nice play by him. And landing those shots as well, yeah. some pretty difficult shots that are being landed there by Wabbit. He's definitely been a pain in the ass of uh, denial this match indeed. Five to four, denial one round ahead. And here we see the double pistol and three AK buys, which we requested from the CTs earlier, and Wabbit is going to get another kill. Oh, nice uh, Molotov as well. Does quite a bit of damage automatically. We'll shoot down that fight, but Shazam with an entry frag. Daps takes down automatic. Shazam with another frag. And this force by doesn't look too bad here by the terrorist site. They're one man ahead. They've got the bomb plant, and they do have control of the site. Now, that's just to get good after plant positions. Only a smoke on Ocean here, as they now try to go for the retake. and should be pretty impossible. Nitro ready for ELS. Ocean able to take down Nitro. 
It's a one-on-two situation here for the CT. He doesn't have a lot of time left on the clock to get the fuse. Daps is going to pop out. Actually makes a fob of that spray, but the CZ will do the job regardless as he finishes off the SKDC side. Winning that uh, force buy and making it 6-4. to four. SKDC were just getting into their stride. Wabbit was getting into his stride. They were starting to win some rounds and perhaps they were stealing the momentum away from Denial. But just when we said that, Shazam with a double entry into, uh, into the A side. Yeah. She's it too strong. And Shazam is once again going to go for this middle peak. And I have to say, since he hasn't really been getting any bonus from this, he should try and, um, yeah, just try something else. Go for the doll peak on A or something, Ooh. Ooh. Or something nice. like that. <laughs> Maybe he shouldn't walk into the door if uh, the deagle is that strong from automatic. He actually lands a shot on Wabbit, but it's a leg shot. They get the mid control now, and they saw two guys pushing into the uh, A door, so they should just go for the B split because, worst case, there's three guys on B. And most likely there will be more guys towards A, since they did such a risky move. Yep. But they're going to wait it out and slowly go for the B split here. And Shazam, is he going to get a kill? CTs are doing an excellent oh, job. He's hiding, he's hiding behind the... Oh, yeah, Les is going to drop the bomb. He picks up the AK, but Daps makes sure he doesn't do anything else with that. Ocean takes down Nitro here. It's a 4 on 2 situation. Shazam, so far, hasn't been doing anything. He gets shot down by Slampy Daps with yet another kill. But uh, it's very difficult odds. Wabbit picking up the AWP, Shazam's AWP. And I was just about to say, this, the CTs did an excellent job just hiding, not giving away their position. Automatic misses his shots completely and drops the M4. And well, he, he could win this. Slampy picks it up, but he's backing away. Yeah, Slampy just gave away his position for and no reason. And he's making too much noise. Oh, what is he doing Slimpy. here? Daps gets that kill. It was a three on one clutch. Could be. And you can also see the comment in the chat. They are doing question marks because what is Slampy doing? And he's going to give the free plant weapon here. Oh for Dabs in this situation, and now it's suddenly a favorite position could for him. It could be an ace. It could be an ace. With a three-on-one clutch, that's really mad. But Wabbit Ooh. has his crosshair in the right position. Will he make the shot? Yes, he does. Denies Dabs the ace and denies them the round, but they got the bomb plant. Yeah, but then again, being smart now, uh, because we can be smart and watch the HP difference in the two players. It was 100 to 19. Had Dabs just had a slight information about Wabbit being low, he would probably play that kind of different. Yep. Denial. Lose that round. Six to five now. There's a lot of chatting going on. Normally when we have the European games, <laughs> you don't really see that kind of chatting. Yes. But yeah, it's a, it's a good point to make. We do uh, we see some uh, crap talk coming from uh, both, both players. Well, mostly from the Denial side, but... P90. Pro 90 on Fugly. <laughs> Let's see if uh, we can use that to uh, its full advantage. But... It's a motley buy once more from Denial. They won one round with this uh, kind of force buy, but they'll be able to do that again. Fugly will try to enter here from uh, Dawes. He'll smoke off the left side of the site. Flops that flash, flashes himself. He still has the Pro 90, and they're going to push into the A site here. As uh, he's done a good job smoking off the CTs. I mean, the CTs are still alive, automatic, unable to do much as he dies to the fury of that Pro 90 from Fugly. And they do have control of the site once more. Another pretty successful force plant. At least they've got the bomb plant. But uh, retake coming in here from CT Slumpy. Now is not the right time to go for the reload. He will get the kill on Nitro regardless as he pushes through the smoke. And now it's a three on two. Yes, he's dead on that line. Slumpy actually gets well, the well, attention of the Denial players it, as they get finished off from behind. It seems like Denial is uh, doing some pretty crazy moves in certain situations. Uh, I think they are very satisfied with the six rounds they have, they're having. Yep. And they're maybe not playing 100% focused because why would you push through your own smoke in a 3-on-3 three three after plan situation like that? Oh, you, you, you element of surprise, I guess. That's the, the only thing that, that, you that, will I, that explains will it, really. In 9 out of 10 times, you should use the element of surprise when you're in a bad position. Or if you are in a such a favored position that it wouldn't make any sense. But he's getting away with the arm on this side. Well, but has to be careful. He backs away. Ocean's there to clean up. Actually, he is support from ELS. Two kills for Ocean, two kills for ELS. Could have been a disaster had Wabbit been shot down and that orb dropped. Shazam is picking up the M4 from Ocean, but uh, not doing anything with that. As SKDC, for the first time in this game, are one round ahead of Denial and are regaining control, but they've already given away six rounds for the Denial side on the T side. Yeah. I want to see more A pushes from Denial because the fast A pushes has been working for them. They just shouldn't mess up the afterplan situation, but since Shazam has an AWP, it's most likely going to be the mid boost once again. Let's see, yep, 
Shazam's actually getting boosted on top of the LS this time. He's behind Sam like flashes down just thinking to go for a fast push. A nice flash as well. Easy pickings on Shazam. They know exactly where he is. And it's nice to see that. They're kind of responding to the gameplay style of Denial. They're not just uh, doing what's in their heads. They're, they're, they're playing dynamically and it's working out for them as uh, they've gone yet another two kills. ELS pushing through. Nitro in a pretty nasty position there behind the smoke. He'll get a frag on him. Now the Steeds have to take it nice and easy. They know that there's a T over on towards mid, and actually the bomb as well. And now that they have control of mid, they can uh, decide which bomb site they want to go to from there. Exactly. Slimpy is kind of low on HP, but uh, this situation is, of course, still favoring the CT side. And very nice Molotov by the guy in middle, forcing Shazam out of the position. And that's why the flash actually works so, so effective, uh, effectively like it did. Oh. Rapid here, he should be in. Yeah, he's also gonna turn around. I was just gonna say, it, it took him a little too long because actually Ocean spotted both members, but it was a nice round. Really nice play by Ocean. His movement is actually quite nice. Yeah. Uh, he played it smart. He didn't go for it, he didn't go for the peak, he didn't go for that kill. In fact, what he did, he saw two, backed away, mm -hmm. kinda took the. He knew that Wabbit was there to support him. He took their attention, pulled back, hit, yeah. and it worked out for them exactly. as they got around. 8 to 6 now for SKDC. Four spy from Denial as it's the final round of this half. So we do have a scout on Shazam, only two AKs uh, to mess about with, but the CZ on Bugly. It could be 9-6, to six, which is the score that we expected, but Denial with that force by uh, round win early on in the game. We have it with the door more. push, he's just closing Nasty. down on the Paris play here. He's actually gonna get caught, so the A play might still work because Nitro is also gonna get a kill, and here comes the spray oh, down by Slampy! Oh, double kill there by Slampy, nicely done as he takes down Nitro and Daps. Um, but it's a 3-on-2 situation, Fugly does have the AK-47 he picked up from his teammates. Oh, two on two situation. That nade. Shazam swapping out for the AK, doesn't have the scout any longer. It's a two on one situation in favor of SKDC and Avela. Who do you think is going to win this one? Uh, it should be an easy one for SKDC as the bomb's down, but Shazam actually picks it up. They back away for some reason. I think Ocean is... Uh, changing his position. Yeah, they know that he's going to look for a peak because Shazam knows that if he goes for the instant bomb plant, he's mostly, most likely going to lose because he's going to mm -hmm. be caught on the side. And since it's the last round, it doesn't really matter if he gets the bomb plant for the money or not. He does have the time and uh, they're doing a good job getting like a bit of a cross a bit. Don't time it perfectly. Regardless, Shazam was unaware that Ocean was there and Ocean got the frag as uh, FKDC. Make it 9-6 to six in this uh, first half. Yeah, and the actually Denial was leading 5-2. to two. So quite a big comeback coming in from SKDC in this situation. And we have the headshot counter in the top right corner here. 41, 41 in the first half. That's quite a lot of headshots if you look at the amount of frags that uh, have been going on. Yeah, it's okay. But uh, actually, it's, it's actually a, a little bit low average, I think, because doesn't it normally be around 45% for these matches or something, on average? I mean, if you look at it, there's about 10, 20, 35, about 50 frags on each side kind of yeah so just a little less than the terrorists so it's a bit a bit less than 50 percent so it's about yeah. it's about average yeah, actually. It, yeah. It, it actually is and that's even though we had uh, um, quite a lot of orb kills by um, by for example rabbit yeah but uh we saw some headshot op, sh op kills from rabbit as well <laughs> which, which uh, probably uh he's ice cold account. man nice cold <laughs> no mercy so the important round here slimby using a smoke probably for the middle area also having flashbangs and a molotov and a smoke on ocean how are they going to use this? We've got three armors on the T side. Now we do have four on the And look at the retake situation here from Denial. They're playing very passively. Very, very passive indeed. They're waiting for the teams to kind of waste all their flashes and smokes pushing into the site. They do have control of the site now. And the Denial side are ready for the retake. They don't have any nades to play with, just one. Yeah, and actually yeah. they have a lot of Kiblas. Normally when you go for these retakes, you have way more grenades, but you also have a backstab in the middle, and he could oh. be very important. Good counter flash by the terrorist here. Great flash, great flash, but they don't actually uh, capitalize on it. They don't push through, they don't go for the peak now. They're pushing inside, peak pass positions here from the terrorist. They're pulled back, they're going through. This is an interesting kind of play. You don't really see a lot of this. Slampy with a double kill. Can he make it three here with a Glock? As uh, Fugly will push into the site with the P2000, but he's only oh. left with the Daps, and beautiful play from Fugly. It's two on two. There's Maniac Mayhem all over the map, and Daps with a double kill as Slumpy and uh, SKTZ. But I think the bomb's going to explode. The kit was on Shazam, and they didn't have time to go pick it up. Uh, they nearly the turned 
that situation to their favor. It was madness, absolute madness in the uh, great in aiming site. skills, man. Great aiming skills. But uh, an interesting strat. I mean, they had the the kit. They were expecting to kind of just go for the retake and get the yeah. defuse regardless. But it's very important that the guy who has it, the kit is running in as number four or maybe even five in that situation. Yeah, as the final because guy. if he dies as the first or the second guy, he's going to be panic about finding that kit and stuff like that. So just very important so. that he keeps alive. It's important. At least dies some somewhere near the bomb. So yeah. it's easy for the uh, exactly. for the players to, to pick it up. But, but yeah, I would like to see more grenades from the CT side in that situation when you have to retake. Yeah, Imagine retake. what a smoke into main has would have done in that situation because both Slimpy and Ocean would have been behind that one and it would be a theoretically a five on three retake on that A side. Simply just forcing the other two members in A main to go through the smokes. And yeah, we're just seeing a Slight buy by the CTs, double deagles, fifties, and flashbang. And uh, the terror side is of course walking as a unit. And is it gonna fail? Well, Ocean was able to put himself in a pretty advanced position. He was able to fight quite a bit with that pre fire. So the was down there with the 250, unable to land a headshot, but there's quite a lot of damage on the MS. So the terrorists completely mowed down the CTs. And Ocean already uh, killed earlier on that round. But it could be. An easy clean up here by the terrorists on this, uh, forced by actually by the uh, denial site. We see it all the time now on oh, the CTs. And Ocean in the chat being cheeky, you know? You see that uh, the uh, other team were kind of, yeah, unsportsmanlike in the beginning, and now you see that uh, he's finally trying to hit them back because he knows that they're in a wonderful <laughs> position. <laughs> it's okay, he goes. Your teammates are cheating. Smart to pick up two cheaters that quit for a one-time tournament. Ooh. The shots has been fired in this chat. Shots have been fired. Yeah. Why not? Ocean is ice cold. <laughs> God bless. <laughs> Counter troll there from Ocean. <laughs> oh, you gotta love the beef. You know, I kind of have the feeling that um, the beef and the tension has only raised in these matchups uh, after oh, I, I by power and Cloud9 not being in it because. Even more, like, not prestige, but even more of a chance of winning now. So you really want to show that you are the third or fourth best team in America. Yeah, and it's a lot of money to win yeah. for these teams. There's no doubt about that. You can't take a very aggressive push from Denial over towards the A side. It's done an A side attack, and it's interesting. But uh, passive play from the T's will allow them to uh, get those easy frags. In fact, uh, had they gone for an aggressive push, it might have been a different story. Easy clean up here by SKDC. 12 to 6. They're uh, leading. Relatively comfortably against yeah. Denial. And uh, now Denial's economy should allow them to go for a full bite. No op. Actually, Shazam able to afford an op yeah, with no armor. Yeah, he's going no armor yeah. but uh, grenades. And actually, that is the clever decision. Uh, as an op on this map, you should rather go for the grenades than the Kevlar, since it's very important to smoke off the choke points and get getaways by being able to flash away and stuff. So if you don't have that, a Kevlar is actually good anyway. So. One thing I've noticed with the SKDC, compared to Denial, they're actually playing relatively passive as the T side. I mean, if they go for a push, uh, for a site push, fair enough, but they're not the same as, for example, Shazam over on towards mid, when he always, every, almost every round got that boost, went for that peak on towards mid. They're actually staying passive yeah. and waiting for Denial to do something a bit weird because they're exactly. expecting them to. But uh, on this buy round, in fact, Denial are, are going to play a standard CT side. One mid, two on each site, holding yeah. pretty uh, deep positions, so they're not going to do anything crazy. And now it's just... Uh, you know, they're feeling out each other, seeing if perhaps one of them will make a mistake before uh, before the other. And uh, I think SKDC are still haven't decided which site they want to go to yet. I mean, the bomb is towards the B site. It could be a B split uh, if the terrorists are able to have mid control, since there's pretty much nobody there and the CT is actually quite deep inside. Yeah, and they're playing very slow by the time here, making the CTs use all of the counter grenades. Now they get this mid control with the smoke and to connect, and they're going to be able to do the B split here. You can see the bomb towards B. They're not going to catch anyone because they're actually passing, but a fast triple rotation towards the speed bumps that should be a good position for Denial. They tried to go into the site right, and it's not worked out for them, but that nice flank through the smoke, actually pushing through the smoke by Wabbit, will get him two kills and uh, act pretty much control of the site, but the CTs are very, very close, ready for the retake, as Nafly will take down automatic. It's a two-on-three situation. The terrorists have to be careful. They can go for the bomb plant, and they will be able to, but Nafly will get that frag on ELS, and it's all up to Wabbit here. He's the last remaining player for the T side. He has to play it nice and clever. He's actually behind enemy lines. What is he doing? Oh, I thought he was going for the knife, but oh my lord, two kills here for Wabbit. It's actually a 4K. He can make it an ace and win the round for the 
uh, terrorist side. This could be absolutely incredible for Wabbit, who's already he's played going an for incredible the he's going for the fuse. He sees him. It's an ace here for Wabbit, who's played absolutely incredibly so far. Gets the round for SKDC. Incredibly close. Nice retake by Denial, but not good enough. And the ocean <laughs> keeps the shots being fired here. He's just shooting, shooting, shooting. He's never gonna stop. Laughing my ass off, he's saying. Whatever, Wabbit is cheating. Land God, you're gonna get banned. Oh my god, the trash talk is real. SKDC now only three rounds away from winning this first How could he win that three. one? Going through the smoke, getting the first kill, an amazing second headshot. And Shazam going to the instant defuse that situation. He's not just good with the op, he's uh, quite good with the rifle as well, yeah. as uh, he's proving. And it's nice to see, it's exciting to see such uh, such good play, but I haven't gone off uh, before. And finally we get the ace. So many 4Ks and no aces. And finally, he what delivers. A, what a dirty nade though, um, by... Uh, one of the terrorists on Fugly, putting him down to 18 HP. That was ELS, but he'll get shot down by Shazam with the P250. Now, how do you have to be careful? It's an eco round here by the CTs. You don't want to lose too many men to this. So they are going towards the A site denial. Two men. Shazam deals quite a bit of damage on Slumpy. Oh, two two of them is low. And yep. Nitro in a good position. Molotov is going to oh. make him burn. Uh, and he will get that frag. Might get the second. They're leading the charge of the ones with more HP. So three on three. Kind of interesting to reload while he still had 11 bullets in, in his 5.7, but one guy's at the track, oh he's going to get a kill, that's Dabs. Oh dear, he does quite a bit of damage on Automatic as well. He does try to push with that AK-47 he picked up, but Automatic will uh, take him down, get that frag. It's 2 on one Dabs picks up an AK-47, and it is possible for him to win this round. He does have a bit of time to play with, but they're in some quite good positions. They're hiding, the right thing to do. Don't peek. Go for it, Automatic. Oh, he shows his shoulder. Dabs will get that kill. Ocean has to play it clever, goes for the flash and Daps will actually make it. Does he have a kit? No, he doesn't. I think he has enough time for Yeah, I think he has as well. And I will win their first round on the CT side here by uh, some... Uh, it's going to be close, but he got it. Yes. Yeah. There's some really nice play there from Daps to win that 2v1 clutch. Actually, I think maybe it was a 3v1 clutch actually by Daps. Mm. No matter what, it was quite a good play. But so I think it was mostly as well the terrorist uh, kind of fudged that a bit. They didn't really create much of a crossfire. and It seemed like they weren't aware where he was exactly. Yeah. But when it should have been quite obvious. It should, it should, for sure. Because he definitely made that first frag. But he saw the, uh, the arm of the last um, terrorist guy, so yep. that's why he had the great advantage of going out in a wider angle to, uh, to get an easy kill because the terrorist wasn't expecting that for sure. A flicker of hope for Denial as they win that round and uh, make sure that their economy stays under control and also that they stay in the game because uh, had SKDC won that, it would have been 14 to 6. Yeah. It would have been far too close for comfort for Denial. 5 AK by here, by the T side. No ops for them. And once again, they're playing very slow. This time, getting ready to launch a, a execute and um, that could as well work because um, it worked really well for the denial team. It was probably their best plan. And it's pretty simple to do. You just bounce the smoke off the short, you do some flashes, and you're going to go for it. And you see the smokes going above the main wall here. And uh, very, very fast rotation from denial. And you know what? SKDC could take advantage of that if they do a fake. I mean, we've not seen any fakes in this game so far. And it could definitely work, especially since denial are very, very fast on the rotation. They do get one entry frag to terrorist automatic, taking down Nitro. But two in return from the CTs. Make it three as Shazam gets a frag automatic. Killing his own teammate with the nade makes it a one on three. But ELS, just one frag. So he's uh, finally shut down by Fuggy. So three frags from the T side. Uh, he could have done better. Uh, they can it actually do a kind of shaky buy, but they didn't seem to favor it in the first CT half. So it's going to be interesting to see if they want to go for it this time. I think they might be going yeah, for it. Yeah, they are. Here. Uh, Ocean will probably be playing with just the CZ. And, uh, and two ELS. invisible weapons as well. That is. Oh, oh. Yeah. Someone fixing uh, the bug in the studio. <laughs> I was going to say that's some, uh, some, some. It's a new, it's a new update. You get invisible weapons. I wonder how they like. The UI bug uh, quickly fixed by our awesome producer. Thirteen to eight. And Shazam holding this angle. I think he's aiming. He quite loves high. It. He loves that uh, that area of the map. Yeah. Either there or he's aiming towards that <laughs> direction. That was an entry track. One on the one towards B site. Slumpy forced to back away. He does have the bomb, however. They haven't lost it. Shazam still in towards mid with support. And the terrorists seem a bit clueless. They haven't really got much going for them. A lot of nades. They can go for an A execute, or they might be going for mid control here with the nades that they have, and uh, perhaps pushing towards the site after that. 
Taps is low and she's saying with this double Ooh. zoom. He knows that he's there and he's most likely not going to get out alive. He actually is. He's Nicely done by ELS, but Shazam will actually get the frag on him regardless after missing that first shot. He kind of peaked a bit, you know, gave him a bit of his body and then went back and then quickly went forward uh, quite a distance so that Shazam wouldn't be able to make the shot. Or if he had to make the shot, it would be a flick shot rather than uh, an easy peek. Second, so the A push coming in here and they're playing by automatic. Gonna get the kill, and now the A bomb side is actually fairly open, so they could get an easy plant here, and Daps is low. This is not impossible for the terrorist side. That was a big mistake here by Denal, as they, comp after knowing that they got the frag in mid, they just gave away mid completely. They didn't look, and they were able to get that little flank and uh, get the frag and make it a 3-on-3. Three three. Now a 3-on-2. Shazam with a kill, though, and Fugly taking it automatic. It's all of a sudden a 1-on-2 with a bomb planted. It's gonna be very difficult for Wabbit, as he's caught in a pretty difficult corner. He'll be shot down by Shazam. Slimpy pretty much threw away, threw away that round. He was in a in a position to just go ham and uh, and just hide around the corner and get an easy kill on the yep. first guy running in. But he decided to go for the repeat on the guy who already saw him, so he just fell down without even having a chance to shoot. And had it been a two and two situation with the time ticking, they would actually have a decent chance of winning that one. So that's one of the rounds that you you don't want to throw away if you if you are willing to trying to win this game. Denial slowly retaking control of this match. As now they're only four rounds behind SKDC. It is a CT-sided map. They can breathe. You have a bit of room to uh, come back into this game. As the economy of the SKD side is quite badly hurt. Nitro unable to land the first shot on Slumpy, but will make the kill regardless. Automatic with that little cheeky wall bank all the way from uh, T-spawn, but not landing any shots. They try to go for mid control, but it should be an easy round here for Denial. They've already gone three frags, no armor, and uh, no weapons on the SKDC side. Yeah, last guy is in the game and he's watching with his deagle, and it is automatic. Also has a smoke, and uh, he's in a terrible position. <laughs> One of five, gonna Dear turn around, Devs is gonna close him down, and it's gonna be 13 to 10. Still in favor of SKDC. But they haven't been looking too strong in the last period of time in this terrorist half. They have to be careful. They have to be careful. If they lose this round, they don't get a bomb plant, their economy is going to be you know, quite in tatters. And it probably means denial getting 13 rounds uh, and uh, equalizing the score. But by nice nade actually doing quite a bit of damage on automatic and wabbit. They're trying to that mission, but they haven't really done that in earlier rounds. And with sheer force, uh, of numbers or power of numbers, they're able to overpower the two denial players over towards mid and do have control of mid. But going towards the B site, Fugly will get a frag on Wabbit. Goes down that flash, that'll slow them down. Nicely done by Fugly as he's defending the B site quite successfully. Uh, CTs have one man behind enemy lines, so the terrorists have to be really careful. They're actually, going to the B split. Daps will get an easy frag on Ocean, and it's too easy. It's, it's just an easy read here from the CTs. They should have done something different after they lost the first few players on towards the B site. And instead, they stubbornly went towards it, regardless, even though they had a control. And it's an easy round here for the remaining two players, Shazam and Daps, as they make it 13 to 11. SKDC now, they do have that 3.4K from uh, the, you know, from losing so many rounds in a row. So uh, their economy is okay. They go for a full bite. They should have reorganized and went for a coordinated push. After they got those two first entries, instead of just yoloing into a bump side, because when they do it unorganized, it's going to be easier for the CTs to pick them apart one by one. They're going for that aggressive push towards mid again, but it's not worked out for them this time round. As Nafly will get a quick double both on ELS and Wabbit, and uh, it makes it a three on four situation. Yeah, and uh, this four on three for Denial is actually going to look to be a important round. Because at some point, I think that the SKDC is going to go for the eco round if they lose. And then they're going to save up for an orb or something. So that could be this round if they lose it. And that's going to mean a free round next time. Mm -hmm. SKDC is still very, very stubborn. They're going towards mid. And mistake from Naf flies. He tries to re peak mid. Will be shot down from by Ocean. Makes it a three on three. 47 seconds left on the clock. SKDC have uh, kind of regained the uh, upper hand. As, you know, having the same amount of people on the T side is technically a, a bonus 
uh, for the T side, since they'll always have the uh, advantage going into any of the sites. And they're going to go towards the A site, which has two CTs waiting for them. So it's uh, very, very important that Daps and uh, his teammate hold Daps able to land enough shots to get a frag and Nitro's actually oh he throws a counter flash he gets a frag on Slempy he gets a second on Ocean and it's a one on two as uh, the support coming in from Nitro Nitro gets uh, sorry Fugly Nitro gets shot down but Fugly will make that frag and uh, well timed rotation from him as well had he been a few moments later it would have been a different story but well done as well by Fugly to get that double kill as yeah. they uh, pushed in towards the A site and what we are wanting to see in this situation is a fake coming in soon for they have yeah, for to. the terrorist side. There, there's been no fakes whatsoever. And in that situation, it could have been a perfect time for a fake. Exactly. The rotation is very fast on the CT side, and it was on the other team as well when they were playing CT. So, this very stereotypical kind of CT fake, no fakes, is just gonna get punished without them really trying to make an adjustment for it. Yeah, no, denial. They can confidently go for the fast rotation. They don't have to think, oh, maybe it might be a, 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 um, a fake. And that allows them to always have, always to reduce the number of advantages that the terrorists have going into the bomb site here. Again, fast rotation coming in from the CTs. They're moving towards the A site. There's already three CTs. Oh, Shazam! Lands a shot on Ocean, but it is a leg shot. Nitro takes down Slumpy here. As the terrorists are on pretty low HP, it should be easy for the CT Slumpy. Watch actually taking down Nitro. Shazam behind the Foglifts will get a frag. Marvin is the remaining player for the B side and will be finished off here by Fugly 13 to 13 as we had expected. Denial now equalizing the score with SKDC. Not a lot of money on the SKDC side. They will be forced onto an eco unless they'd like to go for a false buy. But it doesn't seem likely not when there's uh, not that many rounds left. You'd want to save up the money for the, for the important rounds and uh, Denial will, unless they make some huge mistake, should make it 14 to 13. Yeah, and we talked about how many rounds you should get as uh, CT. And um, you can see that the terrorist uh, side got nine rounds when they were CT, and it doesn't look to be enough in this situation because they're having superior problems on this terrorist half. Yeah, I mean, all they need is three rounds if they're able to get them, but at this point, they've lost the momentum that they had, they've lost the economic advantage. Quick anti-eco bash down. Oh, jumps out with a 5-7 ace here for Nitro. Very nicely done on that anti-eco. And they all went for him. And he was able to get those. I mean, come on. Even with pistols, if there's five aiming for one guy, they should get a frag sooner yeah. or later. They should but just not run in the same line. At it least go around him. Yeah, it makes it too easy for him. But yeah, it's just a, a good motivational boost for Nitro. Even though people say, ah, it's just anti-eco. Getting five kills like that it's is... Not easy. No, it's not easy and it's going to boost your, your confidence for sure. Especially when there's a bit of a shit talk going on between the teams. That really kept them quiet. Yeah. It did. A full by now. And by SKDC. And it's the last kind of hurrah. They have to win this round or else uh, they'll have to either play in overtime or actually lose the first map. Yeah. And it started out with the denial being a bit cocky. After that, Ocean from SKDC had a big lead and he started to start to try and be cocky. And now it's maybe going to bite him in his butt because Denial is coming with a comeback. And let's see if it's going to bring any bad comments from Denial if they, they get this oh. first map win. I can, I'm imagining quite a lot of crap talk at the end of this, end of this map. Regardless who wins, SKDC or Denial, there's going to be a bit of... Uh, there's going to be an exchange, that's all I'll say. Yeah. Wabbit with the AWP. He uh, played really well on the CT side with the AWP. Actually kept the uh, SKDC uh, team in the game, even though they lost the. Uh, this could be a second fake. round. Two guys watching to trying to go out of A main. The other guy, guys rotating back towards the B bump side. But there's no rotation coming in from the CTs this time around. They know that it's not a follow-up. But it's automatically coming in from the side, unable to get the frag on Nafly. So it's quite disastrous. They're going to go towards the B side. So they know they're going towards the B side. Shazam. A pretty good shot on ELS and Fugly there. In that horrible, and it, that is just a horrible position. It's yeah. really nasty to try and go into the site when you've got somebody hiding over there. It is. But, uh, but 15 to 13 now. SKDC don't have a lot of money and they have to play the final round with uh, a bit of a motley purchase. Yeah. Um, An obvious fake is obvious in that situation, I have to say. It was like committing two guys with like. Just going through a smoke, one of them with an orb and the other guy with an AK, uncoordinated, just going through and not getting a kill. That fake is not going to work. 
as I'm actually missing the flick shot of Ron's was mid. Slumpy takes down Nitro through that smoke. Nitro giving away his position by firing some shots and puts it back to a 4 on 4 and that flies in a nice position. To take down the terrorists as they push into the side and a triple kill for him. And we've seen some really, really nice triple kills in this game, but first map. We'll go towards Denial, as uh, we had expected, the strongest side, or the more experienced side in the team that, that, that 